Hello, my name is Miles with Compass Tools. This is a short video tour of Trimble's Unity software, which is a cloud-based, GIS-centric work order management program. I know that's a mouthful, but basically what it is is a cloud-based program that allows you to create work orders, fulfill those work orders, mark them as complete, and export those work orders to a GIS-friendly format. So first thing that you will do um, after you purchase a Trimble Unity subscription is you'll be supplied with a custom URL that says your company name .trimbleunity.com and be allowed to create logins. So I'm going to sign into my account here. That's actually Mitch's account. And then first thing you'll notice is that there are a bunch of apps that you can choose from here. Um, there's a valve inspector, a leak repair, hydrant inspector, Instant Repair, Clean Water Mapper, AFC Mapper, Manhole Inspector, Change Out, Waste Water Mapper, and Storm Water Mapper. So all of these apps um, have different functionality, but they all operate in much of the same way. So um, let's go ahead and let's set up a work order for a valve inspection. Once that valve inspection app opens, it automatically zooms into Naperville, Indiana, um, but we can zoom out and we can pan to a different location Let's say we're in Chicago somewhere um, or we can type in an address so I can zoom into an address here this is our company's address in Centennial Colorado once I zoom in, I can go ahead and I can erase that marker. Um, you can see I already created a work order here, but let's go ahead and create another one. I can do that with all of these tools up here, or I can create a work order by this button here. Um, once I close on, click that button, all I need to do is click the map, and I will be presented with the attributes here for that work order. This external ID allows me to create a unique ID for this particular work order. Um, if you're using a program called like CityWorks or the like, um, you can put that um, uh, unique ID in that spot as well. But basically, all you have all these drop downs here that will allow you to really customize this work order. Um, the great thing about Unity is that we can customize these drop downs. We can customize the uh, field type or the actual drop down values. So. Um, but this is a canned solution. This is what you get right out of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and um, create this work order here. Let's say the work order reason is uh, condition assessment and it's of the highest priority here. And then we just need to assign it to a field user. So we can go ahead and I'm going to assign it to myself. You can add some notes if you like. You can add a projected start date and you can even go ahead and um, change the address up so when I clicked um, to create that work order it took the location or the address of that click so um, I'm just going to change that up a little bit and then I'll hit create and once I hit create um, it will generate that work order and then it should pop up there. So it'll zoom into our map and it will show me everything that I have there. Um, if I want to add more people to the work order, I can do that here, or I can edit the work order with this button. But now that I have that work order um, created, I can look at it on my mobile device. So Trimble Unity, I have it downloaded to my iPhone and I'm just going to log in here and I'm going to enter that valve inspector. You can see that I don't have any work orders here. Once I hit this um, sync cloud button here, that will go up to that server and it will find that work order. So I can click on that work order and you can see now that I have, I have one new valve inspection to do. Go ahead and click on that and I'll say that I'm on site. So I'm on site, and now I can go through and I can um, fill out any of these attributes. I can do my assessment and make
make any changes to this work order if I need to. If I need directions to this work order, let's say it's in an area I'm not unfamiliar with, you can use this button for navigation instructions depending on what kind of device you're using. If you're using an iOS device, it'll open in Apple Maps. If you're using an Android device, it'll open in Google Maps. Um, but that will give me um, navigation instructions to this location. Um, this edit button will allow me to edit any of the attributes for this work order. And this button here will allow me to um, look at that work order on a satellite image. It will automatically load Google Maps in the background and it will give me a aerial image of where that work order is and in relation to myself. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, once I have that all finished, I can hit complete here. And that work order is complete. Now the only thing I'll have to do is go back and sync it down here. And I'll sync with the cloud. And then that work order will disappear because it's been completed. If I want to create a work order, I can hit this little plus sign and I can create the same same work orders from the field. So that's a pretty neat option as well. You don't have to create the work orders from the office. But let's say I've done my inspection for that valve and I want to see it back on to um, on the cloud. So I'm going to go back here and to my open work orders and this is the one that I was working on so I can click on it. I have a bunch of options here. Um, once those details load um, I'll be able to change any attributes or anything like that. There they are. I'll be able to change any attributes here that I that I see fit, address, forms, um, and audit as well. So um, I also have options over here to assign to a crew. Um, I can locate it on the map um, and so on and so forth. But basically what it wants me to do now is validate that this is correct. So I'll hit validate and then close. So this work order has now been closed and completed and I can now export that. So I can come here to export. I have the option to export either with a date range um, or by work order and then I can export to these different formats Esri Geo Database, Excel, or Shapefile. So it's pretty cool. Um, you have a bunch of different options for exporting and, and editing as well. Um, this dashboard will give you kind of a snapshot of your inspections uh, depending on which app you're in. Um, if you need to switch between apps, there's a button down here for that. This app switcher will bring me back to all these different apps that I can create different types of work orders in. Um, so that is Trimble Unity. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or email support at compasstoolsinc.com. Other than that, thanks for listening and um, have a good day.